This video on EasyLobby SVM 10.5 demonstrates how to create a Microsoft SQL Server database containing the EasyLobby 10 schema. Here, we are using Microsoft SQL Management Studio 18. It is possible to use the 2008 version or later. At the Connect dialog box, the server name should be entered, if not already there, along with the SQL database name if there is more than one instance. Use Windows Authentication to connect. Now that we are connected, we need to run a new query to create the EasyLobby database and associated schema. Either right-click on the server name and select New Query, or use the New Query button in the toolbar. A blank query window appears. We now need to insert the DB Create SQL Server script from the EasyLobby installation CD or from the EasyLobby installed program files. Navigate to C Program Files x86 EasyLobby EasyLobby SVM10 SQL and then drag the script into the query window. You can see that we have a file path specified for the location of the EasyLobby data and log files. We need to change this to reflect the location of the files on the server being used. Navigate to C Program Files Microsoft SQL Server MS SQL 11 dot SQL Express MS SQL Data. Click inside the address bar and copy the file path. Next, we replace the default path in the script with the copied path for both the data and log files. Click the Execute button on the toolbar. The script will run, various messages will be displayed, and on completion, query executed successfully is reported in the bottom bar. Expand databases in the object tree and you can see the EasyLobby database has been created with the required schema. On closing Management Studio, you are asked whether to save the changes made to the script. There is no need to do this. Now the EasyLobby SQL Server database is ready for use. The next step is to create an ODBC data source name for the database so that EasyLobby SVM and EasyLobby Administrator can connect to it. This is covered in the next video.